Yeah, so we get started uh, with the intent to provide mentoring services for young adult fathers who are looking for some additional support and encouragement in their role as a father. So whether they're transitioning into fatherhood or are already fathering a young child, we thought it was important to make sure that they had some supports needed. In fact, um, the Child and Adolescent Health uh, would say that black and Hispanic young adults are more likely to become fathers than their white counterparts. And so specifically, we're focusing on uh, young fathers of, of color or young adult fathers uh, who may need uh, that additional mentor support and encouragement uh, so that they don't feel like they're alone uh, in their role. Um, having a mentor has benefited me tremendously. It's nice to have a change, someone who feels like, who I personally feel like uh, cares about me. And I feel like it's been an amazing experience just changing my overall mindset about being a father and um, not having uh, father figures in my life. Um, I feel like it's, I've come a long way and I have a lot to learn. Some of the benefits is, is that like, Personally, you already know, like, Sherman. Sherman has his own kid, so he kind of already went through some things. So you kind of know. And then also, they give you, like, a, uh, my, my favorite thing is you take a survey. So, like, a two-year-old, they have a milestone of things that your kid should be doing and things that they ain't doing that you could look out for and then you could kind of change. What has been your experience um, with young men um, who don't have uh, mentors or father figures? to look out for them. Sure, yeah. My experience has been they're more likely to become frustrated and more disengaged with either the mother of the child who is pregnant or just the, the infant or young child in general. And not necessarily because they don't want to be there, but because they're feeling discouraged. They're, they're feeling like they're on an island all by their, themselves. And so we just realize the importance of creating those intentional connections and relationships that would uh, enable them to feel more confident in their roles so they feel like they have someone in their corner. It's not kind of like a coach. Uh, and so we just realize again that the whole mentoring and uh, relationships that young people have is so vital to their ability to become the, the folks that they want to be. And specifically, we're talking about fatherhood. They just didn't like be like, okay, well you have a mentor now, and then they just call you for when they call you. They call you for all types of things. Want to vote? <laughs> Anything you possibly think of, they possibly gonna call you for. You know what I mean? Can you enroll into college? Do you need a better paying job? There was like people that you know what I'm saying in the hood you'll never see. You will never see that. Well, we've actually expanded our scope. So initially, it was just for your you know, father of color between the age of 18 to 24, but now we've expanded to address uh, some of the needs of fathers who, or not fathers, but just young men of color who are engaged in higher educational uh, settings. So empowering them to persist and stay engaged in academic settings even when they feel like they don't, you know, have the supports or uh, some of the knowledge base necessary to, to complete the colleges, and specifically in the, the community college uh, kind of sphere or realm. We think uh, that it's important to address their needs. And so right now, we're actually working on developing small group mentoring young adults who may not be fathers, uh, but may not have had a father in their life to kind of show them what it takes to get to the next level, either professionally or personally. Well, I found the program through Men of Merit, um, and I feel like the programs are always there, but I feel like an outreach should be more so in schools, um, maybe communities, churches, places where, I mean, we can't go door to door, but I mean, just places where we know that our people will see it and will acknowledge it and not maybe so in such a formal setting where they feel pressured but in a way where it gives them the chance to think for themselves whether it's something that they really want for themselves so because I know 
being in school and stuff and having people come in and talk to you may not always feel like, you know, this is something I want to do, but maybe you just happen to see someone or see a, a poster or something and you're like, wow, I could really use that in my life. And so in your own opinion and experience, I mean, you are the fatherhood coordinator, what does it take um, for a young person to actually get to that next level? What are some of the, the key things that, um, in your experience, that you've um, come to see working? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Yeah, I like the, the tagline off with fatherhood, all it takes is all you got. But I think in a very general sense, a lot of the young adults who we engage already have the resources and the, the ability to be able to, to carry out um, or fulfill some of their responsibilities. So they, I, I really believe it's just they're looking for someone to kind of pull out what's already in them, pull out the confidence and, and the things necessary so that they can get to the next level. So I, I think that is they already have it, but having the mentor or someone else who can be in their corner help gives them a different perspective of life. What has been one of the most challenging things of being a young dad that your mentor has helped you deal with? Uh, the difference here in like uh, two people coming together. You know, that, that'd be the biggest thing. It's two people coming together for one cause. You know I mean? So when you say two people coming together for one cause, could you just say a little bit more um, um, yeah, about like, why yeah, that? So like, uh, it'll be hard. Like, it'll be hard for you to, to, to get together with your baby mom. Cause sometimes it, it's not easy. You know what I'm saying? No one ever wrote the script for like, what it's gonna be like and what you gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's hard cause it's like, you know what I mean? You know what you want and you know how you grew up. But then you also gotta kind of like think upon the next person, like, damn, what would they say if I do this? But then sometimes, you know, you might get overruled and just be like, I like Gia to have this because this is that I grew up with, or certainly Gia never had this before, so I wanted her to experience this, and I never did. But then that, that's where the problem come in at, because it's like two people grew up in two Shake different it. neighborhoods, and they come it. together. I'm not fucking. Huh? What's this letter, though? Um, okay. okay. I'm excited about the opportunities that we have to engage uh, young men of color uh, who are in the higher educational settings or who are just in the community and are looking for additional support. So I'm excited about the opportunities that we can have, uh, especially with the with the different diverse funding that we have and the new partners and you know so some of the challenges sometimes is, is really getting the young people in the door to getting them to to see the value in some of the services that we're offering. Personally I don't think my life was gonna go the best way as being a father I um, had different plans obviously but and I was scared extremely scared but I feel like had I not reached out and and tried to hear people out because I've, I've shut people out. I even shut mentor Antoine out at first as far as like his outlook on it because I figured I have my own look on things. I feel like if it's helped me just be more open-minded and understanding and I feel like I've gained a tremendous amount of information in just a small period of time to be able to better myself for years to come and I just can't wait to keep going at it. What are some of like the barriers that prevent um, dads from being able to show up or men in general from being able to show up? And is there any steps that are being taken to address some of those barriers? Yeah, I think one of the, the barriers, and it, it may be layered, right? I think one of the, the main barriers that I've seen is just trust. Whether, whether it's older men or younger men, just being able to trust that someone else is going to actually be able to do what they say they're going to do for for someone, especially for young people. They they've gone through, you know, enormous life difficulties and have had maybe parents or or people in their lives who have maybe disappointed them. And I think one of the biggest things is being able to trust, uh, you know, someone a service provider. Let alone they. I mean, I'm sure they, you know, have had challenges in other areas, and so you know, just opening themselves up. Uh, sometimes for another disappointment, it could be initially. Changed. So, so as a, like a as a mentee, like how is having like a mentor helping you get towards like your goals and your values that you have for your family? 
Uh, probably with the programs that y'all do, like one step at a time. So you know, hey, if you need a license or you know that you 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 want this nice job to get party for your daughter, don't look to like buy all the toys at once and then look to bargain. You know, you gotta look to do one step at a time. Uh, folks who've really been uh, really influential and really help us get this initiative off the ground is Key Bank in partnership with the First Niagara Foundation. They were our you know, first funders and later on we were able to expand a little bit with the Mother Cabrini Health Foundation. And so also community partnerships like SUNY Erie Mid Mayor Program and Boys and Men of Color Initiative and, and say the whole Say Yes uh, education um, nonprofit corporation has been very uh, helpful and kind of pro helping us to get to where we want to be and expand. And so we, we've had a lot of partners over the last year who've helped us to grow.